Good morning. I am out here packaging up brand wrap packages. I love this part. Um, it takes me so long to package, it really does. But I'm trying to work on being diligent and maintaining a standard of excellence, even if it takes me a little longer. I've got some Falco Kid things going out today. Well, those included Falco Kid things too, but I'm trying to streamline my packaging without these special details that are important to me. So, hello. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys about a business update. Let me try and catch you up. First of all, I am feeling super good today because it's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday, you guys, so I have my hair done and I'm feeling so excited about it. I love it so much. It makes me so happy, okay? <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be like this tomorrow, but it's done today. And you know how you get like really reflective around your birthday? That's me. I'm already an extremely pensive person and I get even more pensive on my birthday, okay? Because I'm trying to think about all the things that I did not accomplish, okay? <laughs> By the time I made it to this age. I don't know you guys, it's been an extremely pensive morning. But today I thought I would show you or just try to chip chat my way through what's been going on with business um, and a bit of an update. I kind of have a lot to say. So um, the kids are going to be going with their grandparents today and I have a photo shoot. And then after that, I am just gonna be hanging out with Brian. So business, I have been extremely overwhelmed and frustrated by it, but like on the low. Um, I have been trying to pace myself and just say, you know what, Serena, grace. Grace, 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 grace. I have, mm, do I have three businesses? I don't know, it's a lot, okay. <laughs> I'm a creative being, it's a lot. And this is hard. Um, it's hard because I want to be able to just pick one thing and stick to that one thing and do it really well. And I know that that is the advice that seems the most wise. So I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of my business story. Um, I started off in business, let me try to sit. The kids, of course, are playing in the background. Um, so if you hear them, you know, they're always with me. So um, I started off my business journey. I mean, I've always been a creative. I was <laughs> selling scrapbooks. I've always been heavily into photography. Once I had my oldest, who is nine years old, um, I got a big girl camera. And once I got that camera, it was over, you guys. Um, I was taking pictures all the time, at any time. I was staying at home, and I thought to myself, you know what, I'm gonna be staying home with my baby, and um, I could do this whole photography thing. And so that was, I started trying to build a photography business. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit short. I'm gonna try. So I thought that, you know, I was going to build this photography business. I was gonna be this portrait and wedding photographer. It was gonna be amazing. But I just had a lot of pitfalls, a lot of pitfalls because it was hard. It was hard to have, a, you know, a toddler and try to build a business and have a husband who was traveling a lot because Brian had a traveling job at the time. It was just a lot. I would see a lot of people start photography businesses along with me and they were growing and I wasn't. I had things that I was kind of, it just didn't pan out the way I had it in my mind. I continued to take pictures. I ended up starting a blog. Um, it it, it kind of morphed from photography to being about um, motherhood. It was called Mommy Me. This was back when like blogs were like barely, barely a thing. Um, and I was very consistent on there, but not necessarily consistently posting because it was new and different and I was afraid of what other people thought. That's a whole thing, we'll get back to that. Yeah, I started this business, I mean, I started a new blog called Mommy Me and I was gonna write about my experiences and I did, I, write, I wrote about my experiences being a mother and um, trying to build a business and just build a home and things like that. And um, I had this whole plan to have a magazine and all this other stuff. It just, you know, I've been through <laughs> it's been a lot this creative process um, I had a lot of pushback in photography um, just trying to find out who you are as a business owner but then still having a spouse a spouse who is the only income in the house is just a whole thing 
Um, so I ended up putting it down, not really completely, but just not going after it like I wanted to. And that caused me a lot of um, frustration and um, disappointment and things like that. Things that now I'm grateful for and I'm grateful that I have been able to work through them because I'm becoming better, but that's a whole nother thing. Then I moved on. I still had a blog. I still did photography kind of on the side. And then I got into the thick of homeschool once all three kids were had come along and it was you know school age time and I was fully committed to this whole homeschool thing that might be a completely different story but um, as I was in the thick of homeschool that's when I started documenting the journey and I started making videos and you know just kind of documenting what we were going through and as I was trying to figure out where to host the videos I didn't want to do YouTube because I'm like at the time YouTube was newer but it was like hmm, like the whole world though like I don't know about that so um, but I decided to do it anyway because I thought well you know, this would be nice to share. The short of it is that um, I've just been trying to get into a better flow with business. I've been trying to get into a better flow with business and it's hard, it's really hard because the reality is I'm doing a lot of things and I'm just one person, okay? So I need help. <laughs> I need help, but um, trying to figure out what to pinpoint, what to work on, how to reorganize my business. It's just a whole thing and it's very hard. People reach out to me and ask me about, um, you know, does it take you away from homeschooling and things like that? And you know what? It absolutely can if you allow it. And I have allowed it before in the past and there's times where I haven't allowed it. Um, so I'm at that stage where I'm learning how to not allow it on a consistent basis and um, how to only accept jobs that um, that add to my bottom line, which is my kids, my family, and um, and that has been a challenge trying to figure that out. Um, when do you take a job um, because it'll give you the funds that you need so that you can move forward in your creative endeavors? Um, I don't know. It's just. It, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I can completely sum it up like I would like to right now, but just know that it is not easy. Um, but but I love it. I love being creative. I love finding ways to give. And I think I'm at a point in my business journey where I have found things that meet my bottom line, which is to be able to give, to be able to create, to be able to explore and discover our gifts, to do it with my family. Um, so I've been doing a lot of reorganizing of the businesses and just basically dreaming about it. Um, that's a huge part of it it's a huge part of it everything that I have photography um, our clothing line the kids clothing line um, our YouTube our homeschool related things fall under the Falco and it is now an LLC which is exciting and so now we have the Falco we have the Falco family which is us behind the scenes um, we are journey journalists and I'm still trying to work on the journaling part because I've been blogging but I don't post them which I'm working on. I have the Falco, the Falco family. I have the Falco kids, which is their division. Um, and I have the Falco creative. That was like the last piece where I changed over our photography business name, which was Serena B creative um, to the Falco creative. So now it's all under the umbrella of the Falco, which is really exciting. And then when I was trying to, d to figure out what to do next, um, I know that one thing I wanted to work on was social media. Just that has been quite the challenge for me because social media is a lot of work um, preparing the content and then making, sh you know, seeing to it that people actually see what you spent time um, pulling together. It's, it's really a challenge and just trying to use wisdom and pray about what to do next and it just so happens that I stumbled across a webinar that I took um, by a girl named Jenna Kutcher. And you probably have come across her, but she used to be a photographer. She still is a photographer. She has a photography business, but um, she does these branding and email marketing and Pinterest and all of this, um, these other courses that she offers. And I had been following it for quite some time. And my father had shown interest in wanting to pay for the course for me. 
and it's basically a course um, I took the webinar and she talks about um, how powerful your email inbox can be as far as communicating to your ideal people like your crew you know um communicating to them what you're up to and how they can support you i was really enlightened by that um webinar and i was pretty much sold but as far as spending my coins on it you know you're just always so hesitant because you just want to use your money wisely you have so much to pay for you know you have bills i have to purchase product obviously i have to ship product i have to have all the shipping materials i have to you know still handle any um my photography equipment needs to be cleaned and upgraded and all that other stuff so it's just a lot of expenses um involved on top of like homeschool resources and things so trying to figure out what to spend your money on is just a whole thing um so my dad ended up showing his interest in wanting to um sew into my business which is such a blessing because so many people so many family members, so many friends have sewn into my businesses and just my whole creative journey and business journey in general. And I'm so grateful. So um, he actually purchased the course for me, which I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited. So the email course is um, just going to take me through all these steps on how to build a good system of communication through email. And um, so the next step that I needed to take was to clean up my emails because they're all over the place you guys so i've got like my personal email then i have from serena with love and they're all gmails mostly then i have the falco the falco is the only branded email that i had um i had faith and love academy email to go to the kids so my first step was to streamline my email so that it just it made sense. And so for me, that was getting and setting up all of my Falco emails. So I own the Falco.com. I own the Falco Creative.com. I own the Falco Family.com. And I need to set up emails for all three of those. So if you contact us personally, Serena at the Falco Family.com. And then if you are contacting us creatively uh, for business or video purposes, so that would include YouTube, um, brand deal sponsorships, um, that type of thing, as well as any uh, photography work or video work that we do, then we have, you know, hello or hi at the falcocreative.com. I was really excited about that. And then, of course, anything shop related would be um, at thefalco.com. So that was my first step to do. And then to figure out which email I was going to start by um, working my way through this email course with. So I have chosen to do the Falco family. Dot com. So I'll have a, um, a newsletter sign up for the Falco family dot com and focus on growing that space which I'm really excited about um, in addition to that I went ahead and started setting up our patron um, patron to me is like a godsend people contact about business related things homeschool related things personal and family related things and I never want to pick one thing over the other but I want to make myself available in all different areas if they fit um, I also wasn't a fan of creating like a shop where I had individual things you had to purchase because I just feel like it's a journey, you know, and there's a bunch of tools along the way that we can use to try and move along in our journeys. So I wasn't, I wasn't okay with having like a teacher's pay teacher store where you just download one planning page or something like that. Um, because what if you do that and then it doesn't work for you? And what I found is that a lot of times, you know, some worksheets or downloadables or things like that will work for a certain period in your, um, for a certain time. And then you may set them down for a little bit and then they may work out perfectly when you move into a different season in life. And so I wanted to make those things more available as a whole instead of, you know, as an individual purpose purchase because then I thought that if they're available as a whole then you could download those things and we could work through this journey together when some things work out well then great when some things don't for a certain season then that's okay too um 
and I just love the tiers being able to um, to sign up uh, at a monthly amount and it's such a small amount that it's not making a huge difference in your budget plus I love that it creates a little like space um, for us to like really connect and a space for me to be able to give specifically to my group of people instead of the whole internet <laughs> if that makes any sense so I've been setting that up I got my tears all set up I got my goals all set up and now I'm working on just throwing some pictures in there and I'd like to do a video um, and then once that is ready then I'll just kind of do an announcement and just try to grow that space grow our little family so I'm really excited about the patron page and through the email signups, I'll be able to communicate everything that is going on with us. So I'm really hype about that, you guys, because just organizing yourself in business is like one of the hardest parts, if not the hardest part, I feel like for me right now, because my business is creative and there's so many different streams. So I know this is getting really chatty. We haven't had many orders lately and that I has been somewhat intentional um i do know that when i post more about it um that's when my orders flood in so when i don't post as much about it my orders kind of stop and slow down a little bit which is really good for me because i'm if i'm in a place where it's a little bit harder for me to um to um keep up with everything because i am one person then that helps me to slow things down so that i can regroup and not be overwhelmed because I do not want that. I want to build a, a business with um, a purpose and to be able to really document the journey portion of it. Um, so I haven't been doing so good with that. I think the last business vlog I did was several months ago. So I think I only have like two business vlogs or two business videos up and I wanted to do more. So yeah, just kind of getting out of my head about it and just choosing to pick up the camera when I'm having challenges or when I get exciting packages or when I use a new printer for the first time and things like that. I wanted to be able to do that more and demystify what it means to start a creative business and just try to build a life that you actually enjoy. I feel like this is a process. This is the journey. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, I did get a few things for business that I wanted to show you guys. I think I've been slowly going this way <laughs> with my camera. But um, I wanted to do like a little business haul because I was really excited. Like this is exciting um, for me. Uh, I think sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed at the beginning um, of owning a shop and all that I'm sure that it entails. Um, that sometimes I go too slow and because I don't want to make those mistakes but i'm gonna i'm gonna make mistakes i told my kids the other day when they were um doing something i think they have a similar um i don't know they're very much so like their mama and so whenever they're doing something new um in math or something like that they get really hesitant to move forward a lot of times because they don't want to make the mistake and i always say to them you know mistakes are good that's where you learn and i said it the other day to them and i was thinking to myself serena you need to take your own <laughs> advice right now you know don't stop moving forward in business because you're afraid of making the mistakes like just change your attitude towards the mistakes and just know that when you make them you can learn from them and learn from them and then move forward so um i think that me being more open and honest is really helpful um because when i do make mistakes i can be really honest and open about what's going on and why um a certain mistake happened or why there's a delay in shipment or whatever the case may be if i'm open about it then you know we can all learn from it i can learn from it mostly and then hopefully somebody else by sharing it so i'm going to show you what i've gotten so far you guys my hair is giving me like all types of all types of vibes i'm very excited because my hair has been a mess lately okay all right so let me show you what i got going on Oh, and you guys, this is coming up. My book year video is coming up with a book haul of all these goodies. Don't they look just scrumptious? Anyway, that is coming up, you guys. 
what am I waiting for with the book gear book? I just want to have all the information because I know that I'm going to have lots of questions about it. And um, I want to be able to answer most of the questions in the video so that I don't have to answer, you know, so that I don't have a load of questions that I haven't answered that now I have to um, try to make time to answer. And I always just feel bad. Not that I'm, I don't know. I, I don't obviously I don't mind answering the questions but I don't always have time and I I don't like putting things out there where people have lots of questions and I feel like I left them hanging so anyway that is why my book year video is taking a little bit of time plus I was waiting for one last um delivery of the books and I kind of sort of wanted to have my patron up and running so I could put the printables on there and you could be you know you could go ahead and download it if you wanted to give it a try but I don't know I'm trying not to wait for perfect conditions so I don't know if I should just put the patron up there even though it's not completely finished like I'd like it to and then just work on it over time but at least it's there I don't know I haven't figured that out yet so I'm working on it but that is a book haul that I'm going to be sharing Okay, did you guys know that we have lights? If you follow my vlog channel, then you would know that I have a light out in the garage now. So I don't have to, which is our studio space. So I don't have to open the actual garage because now that it's getting colder and stuff, I don't have to open it if I want to be in here to work. It's one of those, but it does the trick. So it's a little like casty, but it's okay. Because other than that, it would be super dark in here so let me just show you i think i can put this up here and kind of show you what i've gotten okay so the biggest thing i got which i got a little bit ago and you've probably seen it but i never like mentioned it that i got in here um was the cabinet for holding the teas um i got the i can't remember the name but i'll include the name somewhere on the video or in the description box but i got this wardrobe for holding the teas i definitely needed that so i needed something for the teas to be able to be stacked and safe inside plus i just needed some storage for um some storage boxes and things like that so i got that wardrobe um i got this super cute little file folder hanging system i picked this up in the clearance rack from target i'm pretty sure it was less than ten dollars for sure um and it's so cute it has like this gold finish and these black like ooh, so pretty they're so like falco ish right so i got this for kind of sorting sorting and separating our documents properly so um i have a little file folder system that i picked up from ikea that's hanging on the wall it's my white one you guys have seen that in my tour of our studio space but um i use that for um like order fulfillment uh, but i wanted to use this for when i needed to keep you know just certain documents so i got that i'm really excited this was a big one you guys and again i can't remember the name of it and i will leave it below somewhere but i needed something to be able to hold all of our shipping supplies these are labels i just printed out with my dymo label to go on the shelves um to help me uh, better organize the tees that i have these are all the different designs i have right there so i'm gonna get the kids to put that on in their next office day um these are all my inserts that i have here but this is just my tissue paper. I put little labels over here just to see what's inside because I thought that would be really helpful for the kids. This one is all of our stickers. Um, right now, I am printing out all of my packaging stickers and that was definitely on purpose because I just want to make sure that whatever I'm designing, I actually like and want to stick to before I start ordering them in bulk. Um, so this has been a really good fit for me because when I want to change things up a bit, um, I can do that by just printing a new sticker without having stickers that I'm not using um, and I find are not working out very well. So I'm still in the stage of figuring out what I like. So having these Avery... Uh, printable stickers is really good for me next is my poly bag so i have two size poly bags um i just started stocking two sizes because i'm starting to get orders with um like more than two shirts i can fit two shirts nicely in here but when i need a little bit more space i needed to get the bigger bags so i went ahead and got the bigger bags 
And then this drawer is just kind of like a catch off right now. And these are um, shipping label blanks. I'm very happy about that. This is my cabinet and I really, really like it. I need shelves to go in here because this only came with a rack up here and um, there's a shelf up here, which right now is holding my GoPro stuff. But I'm able to put stuff up here, but I wanna put more shelves like this all the way down. That's what I would like to do. This is um, more poly baggies. These are small ones small clear ones. Here I have my shipping boxes. These are for packages that, um, packages that are going to hold a little bit more. So if I have to send out mugs or um, hats along with teas and sometimes my giveaways include um, books as well. So I just like the way they look packaged nicely in these corrugated white boxes. So I got those. Okay, and this is the other side here. As you can see, I stack my tees up here and then I've been trying to put the labels on the front. So the kids, are, it makes it very easy for them to know where the tee that they need to ship is. Right now it's a little bit messy. I need to clean it up a little bit because I was going through um, inventory and trying to figure out what I needed to order next. I'm actually really excited because I'm going to be adding hats to the shop and mugs to the shop. I wanted to add, um, I wanted to add them anyway, but I think that they're more of a priority right now because I wanted to add mug you can use every day and it's a slightly um, smaller price point. Hats because it's something you can wear all the time just in case you're not like a tea girl. But um, business side of it, I wanted to add things where I could just kind of do one-offs. I don't have to worry about having a specific size in stock or a specific color. I can just ship off a hat without having to be concerned with the size or a color. Well, not really color because I am going to offer them in different colors, but as far as um, as far as printing them, um, I don't have to be limited to my color choices as opposed to a t-shirt. You are kind of limited um, it, because once I sell out of a certain color, I have to repurchase at least 12 to 24 more of those tees in order to get those back in stock. So as with a hat, I don't have to do that. I can have um, one printed at a time and I don't have to be constrained to um, buying in bulk for a specific color. We need to get that done too. Would like to get it done very soon so that I can get that order off to my printer so he can get those back in and I can start photographing them and putting them up in the shop. So that is one thing that is definitely on my list of to-dos, but I don't know if that'll be today because it's my birthday and I want to go out with my husband and hang out and not be stressed out by the things that I have to do. Because the goal is not to be stressed. The goal is to have a lot of fun creating and being able to give to the people that you want to help and encourage. And I guess that's what I wanna do here at the Falco. Um, just in case you don't know, the Falco stands for the faith and love life. And so, you know, I am just, my whole life embodies that belief that, you know, we should be doing everything by faith and with love, by faith and with love. And so I wanna do everything in my business by faith and with love. And I want to encourage other people to do the same by like us just doing it together. Um, I think that's like the best way. I don't want to have empty encouragement where I'm telling you something but I'm not doing it myself. I feel that way with my kids. I don't wanna tell them to do something that I'm not doing myself. Um, so that's why homeschool is life around here. And that is kind of what I'm trying to go for um, as far as sharing these videos and just you know, creating a little space for us to just do this life thing together. So anyway, let me get out of here because it's chilly. Let me see what the kids are doing. Turn my light off in my office space. <laughs> mm <laughs>